Hi, this is Jen, and today we're prompting for style. When crafting AI art, sometimes finding the right style label can be a challenge, especially for those of us who haven't gone to art school. When you prompt for an image in the style of, you're basically pointing the AI to a style and saying, make it look like that. But what happens when the AI says, I'm sorry, Dave, I'm afraid I can't do that. Today, we're tackling a fascinating challenge. How do we guide our AI to create art in the style of a famous artist without using their name? It's a common practice to say, make it look like Monet to quickly convey the style we want. But ChatGPT4 and Adobe Firefly, and maybe some other AI image generators, play by a different set of rules. These AI image generators block artists' names due to ethical and copyright considerations. So how do we communicate our artistic vision with these boundaries? Ironically, let's turn to ChatGPT to help guide us around this blockade. Each AI image generator has its own set of content restrictions, what images it will and won't make. I get that prompting for artists' names is controversial. Some artists are unhappy that AI can generate images in a style they have worked hard to perfect, though other artists are fine with the practice. They're used to fan art. I quizzed ChatGPT a little about this restriction. It ends up that the bods at OpenAI have chosen an arbitrary year to walk the fine line. 1912 seems to be the magic year, 112 years ago. So it seems okay to prompt for works made in 1911. But it's not. For instance, I can't prompt for Marc Chagall. But Paul Gauguin is okay. It seems that if the artist died before 1911, you're gold. Go ahead and prompt for these artists by name. And I completely understand this content restriction, and it would be fine, but I can just go over to Dolly 3 on the Bing website and freely prompt for any artist I want. So even though Dolly 3 and ChatGPT are both open AI, they seem to have different content restrictions. Adobe Firefly also doesn't let you prompt for artists by name, but their approach is a little different. They simply blank the name or the offending words. Firefly just puts its fingers in its ears and says, I can't hear you. Firefly also seems to have a similar time limit. No Chagall, but Henry Rousseau, who died in 1910, is fine. But I seem to have spoke too soon. All these cat images look very similar regardless of the artist. So maybe Adobe isn't listening to me after all. These content restrictions are a little frustrating and limiting. Using an artist's name is a way to easily prompt for a particular style. You're telling the AI, I want the style to look like this. You're not saying you want an exact copy of one of the artist's works. You're just trying to communicate a look. Let's go back to ChatGPT and try this again, knowing that the artist's names are off limits. Ask ChatGPT to describe the artist's style. If this person is at all famous, ChatGPT will know the artist and how their art looks. Ask for a prompt or pull out the key style words and add a subject. ChatGPT will flesh out the prompt. Bam! We now have an image of a cat in the style of M.C. Escher, with a large pinch of Dolly aesthetics. Not only do you get the art in the style of, but you learn a lot more about what makes the artist tick. 
If I put ChatGPT's prompt into Firefly, there's no problem either. I'm not using any limited words. Though I don't think it's quite as Escher-esque. It's not always so easy. Let's try Marc Chagall. You'll get something in the right ballpark, but you're probably missing something of the artist's unique style. Ask for more information on the artist's medium, painting technique, and color palette. Combine the keywords from the various descriptions. If you ask ChatGPT to create a prompt based on the style, ironically, sometimes ChatGPT will use the artist's name in the prompt. Oops. And then it won't make the image. Though sometimes it will. <sighs> but we don't just have to use words to describe a style. We can use inspiration images. Both ChatGPT4 and Firefly take image prompts. You can use an inspiration image from the artist to guide the AI. And now for a neat little trick. Download the AI image and upload it again into ChatGPT. Now ask how the image can be more infused with the artist's style. You can do this dance a couple of times getting closer and closer to the style you want. We've been exploring how to describe artistic styles to ChatGPT without using specific artists' names. It really got me thinking about deepening my own understanding of AI and the creative process. That's why I've turned to Skillshare to enhance my knowledge of how AI works and how I can use ChatGPT to enhance my creativity and productivity. Skillshare, for those who might not know, is this incredible online learning community packed with thousands of classes for creative folks like us. One of my favorite learning paths is become a more efficient content creator with ChatGPT. It includes classes on how large language models like ChatGPT work, how artists use ChatGPT for brainstorming and creativity, and how to enhance your writing with ChatGPT. Skillshare is perfect for picking up new skills in a structured way, like how to find your art style, and learning paths guide you from beginner to pro through a series of interconnected classes. Now here's the best part. Skillshare is offering the first 500 of my viewers a one-month free trial. Just click on the link in the description to start your own journey. Even if your AI image generator lets you prompt for artists by name, you may choose to prompt for style instead. But don't restrict yourself to making art in the style of one artist. Use AI to make something unique by combining two or even three artistic styles together. There are billions, yes, I said billions, of three artist combinations recognized by the AI. So where do you start? I've collected my favorite artist combinations into a new ebook. Here's a quick preview with a few artists to try in your own prompts. Blending artistic styles together is the best way to create art with a unique flair. Share your favorite artistic styles in the comments below. If this video kicked up some artistic creativity, like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Jen at Making AI Magic. Let's make something amazing together.